Bendy Jeffs. Bendy Jeffs River Park, Misaki County, Michigan. Checking it out. It used to be a campground out here, I guess. And uh, we're going to shoot some video and photos and show you guys what it's like. They got a boat launch over here. Looks like it really used to be something out here now. Well, they've been doing some work, as you can tell. I don't know if they're getting, if they're like trying to open it back up or what they're doing, but they're cleaning it up. I guess, kind of making a mess, really. But check it out. Left all the strands everywhere. Let's get down to the river and see what we can see. Here's the boat launch. Looks nice, it's a nice boat launch, really. Paved right down in the water, so it's got a really nice entrance down into the water here. I like that. That's still in good shape. Across the way there, I believe there was a bridge on the old map going across the river here. And there's a part of the road on the other side, actually, which is super cool and interesting. Don't know if we're gonna explore that today, but maybe. So this is the uh, bridge here. This would be M55 is the road crossing over the Muskegon River here. Looks like you barely got enough room to canoe underneath it. And I don't even know if you want to. Pretty cool though, they got a giant pylon in the middle there. Up on the other side, they got some old pieces of wood. Looks like it's keeping the land held up. And out over here though, oh look, there's an old sandbag or something. It's a sandbag filled with rocks. Oh boy, interesting. Right across the way there is where the old, the bridge used to come right here on the map, I believe. Makes sense, right? It's all dug out here and stuff too. Straight across the way. And it looks like there might be an old railroad tie or something over there even still, so. To get to the other side, I gotta go across that really busy bridge there and find the road. I don't know if we're going to do that today or not. Right behind that stump there would be where the old road went up. Easy to get lost out here. I think we might come kayak it. Man, get the old GoPro going. It'd be fun to kind of get out and explore some of these islands and stuff. These are even old. Look at the bands they got on there. They got a little wear on them. They're not that old. The locks are pretty old though. Looks like old treated lumber. Still got a little green to it. This is old here. A little grain. Pretty cool. It, up here, they got this artesian well. So if you need to fill your water bottles up, you can do it here. I think it's certified and everything. So you can drink it. Pretty cool. Little pavilion here. Artesian well information right there. Let's get a picture of that. And then a little plaque there. Pretty cool. Wow, look at that old pylon. <laughs> Oh, it's not. It's the old thing for the campground where you put your slip in. Cool. There's the outhouse, the old outhouses right there. Those are pretty neat. They got newer ones here, but they're uh, closed up right now, apparently. So yeah, there's a view from over here. There is a bridge. There is the entrance, the pavilion. And uh, let's go walk the campground real quick. Join me as I walk the campground. They got it blocked off now. You can see it actually used to be paved. So, yeah, man. Here's the road. It's an actual paved road, gravel road. So, coming in here, 
and it looks like your first sight is right here. And I see something shiny, so let's go check it out. Oh, I think it's just like a big gold lid. <laughs> some in a gum. It is, but even these, look at this, that's a McDonald's one, but these were paved too. So all these sites out here were paved. There's another one straight across the way. We're not gonna look at every one, because obviously they're probably gonna be set up pretty much normal, what we're used to. This is the only one out here, I believe, to have the sign left. Here, lucky number 15, site number 15, still has a sign. I don't know where the rest of them went. There's 15, boys and girls. Get your reservations made. Anyways, this is all paved. Uh, everything's all paved around here. I don't think there's anything until you get around back, and there used to be a... Uh, like an overlook over the river, but it's all broke down now and taken out of the water, but I'll go show you what's left of it at least. A couple pieces of it are left out here. I think it used to be down by the river though, and now they got it up on shore. It's too bad, I'd like to see them come out here and spend some money and redo all this. It's a really beautiful place to take your family. Let's get down there. There's some old uh, railroad tie looking steps. Yep, definitely. And then there's where it used to be in the water. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of the log hanging out of the water still. So apparently you could walk out here and just relax and get a nice view of Muskegon River Country. Love it. Now we'll just run the rest of the loop just so you guys can get a feel for it. Then we'll go check out the outhouses. <laughs> oh, see what kind of condition those are in. Should be interesting. Wesco cup, just like the astronauts took to the moon, y'all. <laughs> yeah, let's check out this old outhouse. Is it old? They redo it? Maybe they redid it. The roof is looking pretty old. Man, here we go. Oh, they got it boarded up. Son of a gun. Well, let's see if we can see in there anyways. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they got it all boarded up, don't they? Had a bunch of different holes in it, it looks like. Hmm. Interesting. And there's the old walkway going up to it. Wooden, a bunch of little wooden boards. Pretty cool. Oh, and this one's actually on the slab. This is probably the original one here then. This one's on a slab, look at that. Oh, and look, they got like a vault there too. Huh. A vault that me and somebody else could pull right up. We won't. <laughs> Interesting though. Is this one boarded up too? Oh yeah, it is. All right, I think that's all I got from out here today, guys. I got more exploring in the nearby So area. there was something right here. So here's the foundation for it. Oh, look, there's even a beer bottle. I wonder if it's old. It doesn't look old. That's too bad. We'll see, though. Oh, it's an Anheuser one. But yeah, there's a foundation. It goes up there. Must have been a tiny little place. But it's here. 
Something's living out here? Oh yeah, let's check it out. Someone was living out here. Oh boy. Oh, yep. There is, somebody was living out here. Everything a dude could need. Not that long ago, it looks like kind of newer stuff. Wow. Holy cow. There's the trail I wanted to take. But yeah, I like it. Or somebody dumped their garbage. I wonder if that's a good CD in there. <laughs> People just dump all their junk out in the woods. It sucks. So the last time I came here, I had to stop right here. Because it was flooded, but obviously it's not that bad. But the woods are all flooded. Everywhere. Slick. It is slick right there. I almost fell in, actually. This is interesting. But see, I could have swore this went to the park. It goes, it follows the river in the right direction. There's the river. Let's see if we can't get a good shot, get a little closer. This is all new territory to me. I don't know exactly where we're going. I had a feeling to go this way though, through the woods. Through all the branches. <laughs> Over here, let's see. So you can get lost back here because everything looks the same. Oh cool, look. A little bridge going across, all right. Wow, it's really pretty. We're gonna head back out to the main trail. Oh, there's a canoe. There's a canoe over there. Crazy, okay, interesting. Let's check it out. <laughs> Somebody could be living out here and that could be their mode of transportation. Don't know if we wanna find out who it is though. <sighs> the things that you find just out in the woods. Hey, if somebody's living out here though, whatever man, you gotta live somewhere. The way society is anymore, they don't make it easy. It's like, if you come this far, go ahead and take her for a ride, bub. Oh, crap. No, hold on. Look, there's this creek coming through. Lovely lady might dare it. Oh, my God, Nick. You do not want to fall on that. It is going to be freezing, number one. Number two, it's deeper than you think. I assure you. Let's do this in a smarter way. I don't think I'm going to go across. I got to get to that freaking canoe now. Hold on. Giant. Giant tree here, the big old oak. It's a beast. She's a whopper. Whoa! Right next to this foundation, too, of course, right? Let's see if I can navigate through here. Oh yeah. Ugh. Yeah, here's the corner. And then there's like an opening or a piece that's just chunked out. I'm in the foundation. I don't get it. Like the other part's missing or something. Oh, cool. Let's go check that out. So yeah, a lot of it's covered. That's what I was saying. You only see part of it. And then lovely lady's saying the tree. Oh, yep. Look at that. There's the other part of the foundation. The tree is growing right out of it, guys. Crazy. I love it.
Found this sign entering Misaki Conservation District. Well, there's the old sign. Whoop, and there's the new sign. So I got them calling out the uh, Crawford Roscommon Conservation District for whoever came out here to put a new sign in and left the old one on the ground. Shame on and you guys. I was guys. following lovely lady over here and I got ahead of her. This way I am. Hey, look. I found something. Just from getting here first. <laughs> oh, dang it. It's got a hole in it. But there's a cool ketchup bottle for those of you guys that remember that style right there. Awesome. Pretty cool. We're headed back out of the woods here. What do we got here? What's doing damage like that to this tree, guys? Huh. Is that a woodpecker, or is it a beetle, or is it some kind of like ant, something weird? Let me know if you guys know. That, I don't know, that's weird to me. Well, we're headed out. I just had to scour the woods for old bottles. We found a couple broken ones, nothing worth keeping. The ketchup one was actually the cooler of the, <laughs> the few. Found a little random this, a little bit of random that. Oh, there's one of them. There's a wine bottle. Liquor bottle, I should say. 82, maybe? Anybody remember what liquor bottles look like in 82? Let me know which one that was. <laughs> well, we're going to head out from here, I think. Oh, a couple more bottles. What do we got? Oh, cool. See? I don't even find anything on these trips. Lovely lady finds all this stuff. So, there's the old 70s, I think, beer bottle. So, those are pretty common up here. I'm not going to take it. This is this one's better, though. This is, a, this is a better one. This is an old pop bottle, I think. Not to be refilled. And what's the date on that? 61? I don't know. It's got the bumps all over, though. I believe it's probably a, a soda bottle. We'll clean it up and see what, what that one's like. Here's a cool can. What kind was this? Ah, must be a silver bullet. <laughs> it's silver. You know, all this is is basically somebody's dumping ground, I would say, and then you can come back 50 years later and find these cool bottles. I like collecting bottles. I'm into it. We'll have to come out here sometime and scour it. What do you say? Oh, she's still scouring. <laughs> I found this, oh, lovely lady found it, sorry. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Pfeiffer? Famous beer, never heard of it, from uh, Newport, Kentucky, or no wait, Newport, Kentucky, St. Paul, Minnesota, and Evansville, so Indiana, that's where they made that, I've never heard of it before, pretty cool, it looks like an awesome building on the front of it too, oops, so that's kind of a cool one. <laughs> 